Well, on this Jobs Friday, we are taking a look at growth in the additive manufacturing jobs. These are better known as 3D printing. It's a growing number of manufacturers who are seeking workers with the skill set to adjust to this new reality. Mary Thompson is at a Lockheed Martin Space Systems in Littleton, Colorado, for the latest in our ongoing series on where the jobs are. It's not rocket science. For Lockheed Martin Space Systems, using 3D printers to make parts like these propellant tanks makes financial sense. There are significant cost savings, up to 50%. 3D printing or additive manufacturing can also cut production time in half. And while the technology is decades old, Lockheed Vice President Dennis Little says there's still a lot to learn. Additive is, um, is a new journey for us. It requires new skills. It requires a brand new education. It also requires more workers. Lockheed Martin is looking to hire 120 people with 3D skills, and that means STEAM, not just STEM skills. If you're thinking in 3D, your artistic or right side should complement your left side science, technology, engineering, and math skills. Lockheed's Dave Gulbernat says that's because 3D takes inspiration from nature's efficient designs, not straight lines and right angles. You end up with a lot of parts that look like tree branches, they look like roots, they look like bone structure, they look like stalactites. Engineers use software to design products which are then printed or built by machines spraying thousands of thin layers of composite on top of one another. Good for customized parts and small scale production, Deloitte says 3D printing is a $10 billion industry for now. We're seeing rapid growth as fast as 20 to 30 percent per year with projections exceeding 20 billion dollars by the time we get to 2020. Seeing an opportunity, Metropolitan State University of Denver is launching a four-year degree next fall in advanced manufacturing with a focus on 3D. President Stephen Jordan seeing a need as the state's losing business. Those companies say there is no workforce that's already here and trained. Uh, in, in additive manufacturing. The degree is designed with input from different departments, including electrical and mechanical engineering, and from firms like Lockheed Martin. Jordan sees strong demand for his 200 future graduates, along with healthy paychecks. The industry folks have been very clear that the starting salaries for our graduates will be in the 60 to $65,000 a year range. High pay and praise for those using both sides of their brain to work in 3D. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Mary Thompson in Littleton, Colorado.